afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mahta Amini, and today I'm going to talk to you about my project, which is titled AI for Evaluating the Impact of Innovative Thinking in Programming. Okay. First, let's talk about why this topic is important and relevant. Creative ideation and its adaptive value in reacting to new events is critical to advancing uh, scientific and technological innovation. Creativity is a complex concept to define and understand, and it is recognized as an essential soft skill for those that work in software engineering industry. Despite the contribution of creativity to innovation in various different domains, its underlying cognitive processes still need to be better understood by the software engineering community. The goal of my project is to empirically evaluate and comprehend the impact of creativity on developers' cognitive processes during the execution of various software engineering tasks with the help of AI. One of the challenges that we face is how can we actually measure creativity? It has two main psychological components, divergent thinking and convergent thinking. And these two work together when we generate a creative output. There are various different standard tests that can measure these two components. Convergent thinking tasks measure one's ability to assess several stimuli and arrive at the most appropriate response. And divergent thinking tasks use usually open-ended uh, questions to measure one's ability to generate various solutions to a problem. What we did is that we used the top-down approach of conducting controlled human studies. The participants went through two different sets of uh, standardized and objective psychometric tests for measuring creativity the divergent association task, or DAT, and the remote associates task, or RAT. And afterwards, they used our website, and they went through, uh, they were presented by, uh, with a JavaScript game, and their main task was to implement the scoring functionality of the game. Uh, the scoring functionality had to monitor and record the participants' score during the game, and they were free to implement it in whatever, in whatever way that was uh, okay for them. Uh, also, if you want, and if you're interested, you can scan the QR above and participate in our study, but hopefully after the presentation is over. And uh, what we did is that to record the participants' performance, we measured their task completion time and their success rate, and we also uh, measured participant problem-solving strategies. We used a statistical analysis to draw correlation between uh, users' psychometric creativity scores and the user's outcome and performance. And we used hierarchical clustering to be able to identify and categorize the very different problem-solving strategies that were used by the users. To summarize our findings, we were able to identify a weak monotonic, monotonic relationship between the participants' that score and their uh, task completion time, which was also statistically significant. Uh, no statistically significant relationship was identified between the participants' RAT score and their task completion time. We use hierarchical clustering and gap statistics to be able to categorize the performance uh, problem-solving strategies and identify the optimal number of clusters. We identify three unique clusters. The participants that belong to the first cluster didn't util utilize any auditory visual elements, but those that belong to the second and third clusters uh, used various different uh, auditory visual elements. And by that, I mean that in the game, they implemented different sound effects and animations and tra transitions. And interestingly, some of the users that belong to the third cluster went beyond the scope of the task, and they implemented the novel game over or game one strategy. Also, the participants that had higher creativity score implemented more novel and innovative solutions. To conclude, participants with higher creativity scores introduced additional game features and integrated multiple visual auditory elements. They also indicated a slightly longer time to task completion. Thank you everyone for listening and thank you very much Ivado for giving me this opportunity.